Hello, this is Jens Nickel from Elector. We are on the second day of the Embedded World Show 2022 in Nuremberg. And this morning we are at the Word booth. This is Laurent Völke. And Laurent, what is your position at Word? Hello, Jens. Uh, I'm field application engineer and as well business development manager for ap application in energy harvesting or power design and automotive as well. Yes, and one buzzword on the Embedded World Show is, of course, again, the Internet of Things. We will have billions of devices in the field in the future. And what uh, can Word do about this? Of course, Jens. I saw a statistic that in the year 2025, the number of devices of um, Internet of Things connected, it will be 75 billion. And all these devices will be wireless connected because of this mesh to, to put all the cables on that. So, Virtual Electronic did develop with uh, their own team uh, some wireless uh, modules, so wireless connection modules. You can see here on this uh, table. We have proprietary Wi Fi, uh, Zigbee, Bluetooth, and of course, also LD and also LoRa uh, modules, which can be very tiny. If you look on that, it's really small devices. This is almost can be integrated everywhere. And of course, a, a second point it's of uh, the position of these devices where, where you device is, is mobile or it is fixed. We want to know sometime the position of these devices and for that we have these uh, GNSS modules which again could be very very small and tiny. It's less than one centimeter square and with this you can exactly locate the components. So this is one of the, the part. And of course these devices must be powered some, somehow. Batteries are not so environment friendly. But what also has a solution for this? In, indeed, indeed, the, all these devices, if it will be powered by the battery, you can imagine how much waste it will generate it and also the maintenance of this battery, it's a big impact. So in some cases, it's very, very simple to use energy harvesting. You can harvest light, movement, temperature difference, and virtual electronic pushing this technology very further. And you, you need to be a very good engineer for low power. And then you can do also a wireless node, which is self-powered, and you never need a maintenance for that. So this is, this is quite a, a possible technology in energy harvesting. We have some development kits for that. You can order from the website as well. And uh, we help the designers for doing that kind of energy harvesting devices. For what kind of uh, source of energy? Well, you can use the solar is the most simple one. Uh, tem temperature difference, as soon as you have more like 5 Kelvin temperature difference, you can use thermal electric generator. But in, indeed, you can have also a possibility to recharge uh, the rechargeable battery with wireless power. We have a solution for wireless power. As soon as the device is empty and you can access it, you can just put it to the wireless power pad and you can charge it up to 15 Watt. As soon as it's charged, you put back to the same position and it works again. So if it runs well, you don't have to um, go to your device and, and change anything for years. Exactly. This, this is the, what you can do with the software. As soon as the device is less than 10% battery capacity, you can have a ping somewhere on the app or whatever, and then you can recharge it. Or you can extend the battery lifetime with the energy harvesting. Like uh, in the night is no sun, and in the night it's running on battery, in daytime it's running on solar, and you can extend the lifetime from five years from the uh, lithium cell up to 15 years in this case. There's also a possibility to use some components from virtual electronics. Of course, I have to ask this question. There's a big chip crisis everywhere, and um, how is Word dealing with this? Well, unfortunately, we don't build chips by our own. Uh, we are most of passive side of the components, so we have passive components on the chip side, like on, on the, uh, use it in our wireless communication module. We are of course dependent also of the chip manufacturer, but right now our stock is quite good fulfilled. And I cannot complain or I cannot say we can deliver still on good time. So delivery is quite not a big problem for us. What do you expect? When will the situation uh, come, become uh, better? Well, if I could look in this glass bowl, I will concentrate and focus for the lotto numbers. But I can imagine that will take another two years at least until everything running smooth. So it's a big gap on, on the chip side, it's a big gap on the transportation and everything. So it will, it will take the crisis of chips at least two years. That's my personal opinion. 
uh, Wood is also um, making interesting LEDs, uh, which can solve maybe uh, or can be partly solved uh, the foot problem of the world. Indeed, uh, the horticulture LEDs, what we did develop, you can do uh, vertical farming. So you can do in a, even in the kitchen a small uh, area where you can grow some plants for yourself. And it will save the transportation uh, roads uh, time and uh, also the cost, of course. And you can emulate the solar light using these this horticulture LEDs because they have a special spectrum for uh, UV light, for growing by uh, infrared and daylight as well. And all this is, is emulating actually the, the sun in a much, much uh, higher resolution. So that could be in this rack, if you see this rack on the side of the boot, we have this, this demo where you can grow some plants for the kitchen or even in, 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 uh, in a big hole. Companies in like in, in New York you already can get some fresh fruits from built not on the field in the big hole in a vertical position. Did you do research yourself um, or are you in contact with the universities about the best LED light for plants? We have we have also collaboration with universities, but the most are uh, our own development. We have our own uh, doctors, uh, PhDs, and, and they are developing by themselves and uh, of course we have to develop in that way that it's possible also to manufacture it. So it, it, you can invent something very interesting which can be not be produced but our uh, product manager they are, they are quite very good in this field. I think we can uh, have a look on something. Yeah. So this is the horticulture uh, rack yeah. and you can see here the different wavelength of the light you can see here this is emulating kind of uh, growing this is already when the plant is already quite uh, big and then uh, the, the germination uh, uh, light and also the, the infrared light mm -hmm. so you, you can have on, on different uh, stages of the plant growing the different spectrum this is very important because the plant doesn't need all the time the whole spectrum of the solar light it needs sometimes only infrared, sometimes only just light, sometimes only just this blue light. So it depends on, on the plant's, uh, I would say, development, which, which spectrum you need. And this is a, a rack for the demonstration that can be done. And uh, mostly you don't need even earth. You just need a, a substrate and you don't need chemical. You don't have bugs inside. So you don't need anything to make it uh, um, uh, nocive. So it's completely green, completely organic. To, uh, even you don't need to wash it sometime. It's so that clean. Impressive. Thank you very much, Laurent, and success for the show.